a friend of mine called and he's like, Hey man, I haven't seen you on the forum in a while. I know you've been busy. Listen, we're working on Shrek and we need somebody that knows Adobe Illustrator. You're the only person that knows it. And it's like, can you help us with this stuff? So after college, you work in a bunch of dead end jobs. So what was like the point at which you were like, okay, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to go at this hardcore. I'm going to make art my profession. Gosh, what a story. So I was in grad school. I, I, I quit. Uh, of course, it, naturally I had to find a job because I had to get insurance. And, and so I would draw in my spare time. Given I was about 26 or 25, I guess at this point, 24. Gosh, stay, things get fuzzy when you're nearly 50. Um, but uh Given at the time, I was like, okay, I'll draw at night and I'll work during the day, except that uh, the only jobs I could find were at night and on the weekends. So I slept during the day. And uh, so I didn't draw that much. I did a little bit. Um, I mean, you know, I practiced and stuff, but I wanted just like any artist, I want to get to the cool stuff. Um, yeah. You know, get over all the boring practice stuff. <laughs> yes. Nobody wants to draw them perspective boxes. Um, so anyway, um, I was working at Kinko's, which is now just the FedEx Center. It was near the local college. And uh, I'll never forget, Hercules had just come out. Um, and I was like hooked. I was like, that's what I want to do. And still Hercules is one of my favorite Disney movies because of the style, stylized look. Yeah. And I started taking figure drawing classes in the mid 90s or late 90s, I guess at this point. And, uh, um, you know, I was trying to get better and better. Um, and I put together this portfolio and working at Kinko's was able to get a discount. So I made like 36 portfolio printed portfolios and spiral bound them and made a pretty cover and they sucked by today's <laughs> comparison. I mean they were pretty bad but at the time I researched and found 36 animation companies in the in the world and I applied to all 36 and got rejected from all 36 and rightfully so I just was not prepared at all you know I was like oh yeah I'm good at color and I, I mean I am but I had to like really study it um yeah, you know to yeah. get there so that was the, again, with the Dunning-Kruger effect, oh, I'll just be an animator. It, it, it doesn't, I mean, you know, the skill just didn't carry it. I think the big thing was, is that Disney did call me and they said, hey, we got your portfolio. I'm looking at it right now. Whoever I talked to was the sweetest person ever at the time. And they were like, yeah, you just need to work on this and this. And so um, I decided to, I would just take classes where I could. This is pre-YouTube. Um, we had the internet. It was still the dial-up internet and everything. Oh, yeah, yeah it was, it, to watch a video was impossible. Um, and so, you know, I'd buy books and um, yeah, and and it was just really hard to kind of connect with artists. So I'll just kind of segue into how everything worked for me. So um, I I guess it was about ninety eight or ninety seven, and I was at a job that allowed me a little bit of freedom to stay on the computer when I wanted to. And, um, and all we had were forums that you had to kind of like hunt and peck and find. Um, and so I found one forum called the drawing board and I was like, well, that's cool. And so I clicked on it and there was all this really cool artwork being posted up by just all these strangers. Uh, the thing is they, like one of the strangers was Shane Glines and he was responsible for helping out some of the Batman stuff. And he does a lot of freelance stuff. He's worked in and out of the industry a lot, uh, gorgeous artwork. I mean, he's just so stylized. And he would host weekly drawing jams. And so he would post up, um, usually it was some kind of sexy girl because that's what he draws the sexy girls. And, and everybody would draw their take on that. Yeah, and as yeah. I got to know these people, they weren't just folks just drawing their take on it. Some of them were illustrators in the industry and some of them worked at Nick and some worked at DreamWorks and some worked at um, the Muppets, I think was another at the time. And so I realized I just kind of walked into a treasure trope of people. A lot of these folks, even though we all have gray in our beard, still work in the industry too. They're just older now. Um, and um, so it was a stroke of just tapping around on the keyboard and then found this place and just got obsessed with doing these drawing jams. And I would do them every single week. And I realized um the competition that you knew on Friday, everybody's going to post up the picture. So you really had to, you know, draw well because these, these people that were, you know, now um, very 
uh, big or not big people in the industry, but have been in the industry forever. You know, yeah. they're seasoned at the time. So I was like, well, I want to do better. So it caused me to study more. And it, it was just the drive and the passion to do that. Uh -huh. um, I created a few pieces uh, that, um, you know, I made a postcard that I was going to send out to people. But that's actually how you kind of courted clients at the time is to send a postcard with your website on it. I learned how to build a website. Uh, at the time, it was nigh impossible. Um, you know, there was uh, the browsers couldn't handle one type of website and Flash had just come out. And so that was all the rage. And it's a weird <laughs> time on the internet, web, you know, uh, yeah. and the dot com bust. Uh, but anyway, um, through that, I, I just, I, I made a lot of good friends at the time. And uh, one, I, I guess a few years had gone by and I've uh, had started picking up a few clients here and there. They were very small. And then um, a friend of mine called and he's like, hey man, I haven't seen you on the forum in a while. I know you've been busy. Listen, we're working on Shrek and we need somebody that knows Adobe Illustrator. You're the only person that knows it. And it's like, can you help us with this stuff uh, on Shrek? I was like, sure. Yeah. You know, I, <laughs> I've always wanted to do that. So that was my little, that was my little breakthrough 